Welcome to Nowhere. My name is MD. I am Sim4 Enthusiast and Content Creator. Here today, I am working again with another speed build for my mod legacy. If you don't know about me or about this, I am making a mod that is called Better Sims that will help your sims get a little bit more interesting of a personality. And because I need to work a lot on that, I also one of the main things that I need to do is test. I need to test every single um, situation, I need to test aspirations, I need to test everything that I add, but I also need to test how gameplay goes. And because of that, I decided to share this process and create the mob legacy. It is the legacy where I start with a family uh, with eight sims. I will try to find out, figure out what they are, what they like and who they are. And with that in mind, I will uh, follow everything, everything that they desire, basically. But the reason why I do that is because I need to test things on the on a real gameplay. So if you want to know more about my better sims mod, you can go to the link on the top corner. And if you want to test it, you just keep in mind that it's, it's still on a beta phase. That means I'm still fixing some issues. I'm, most of the issues are already gone, but I still need to fix a lot of things. And that um, not every feature is completely done. I still want to add a lot of things. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now, what I am showing you today is the side of my live streams that you don't get to see. I am doing my mod legacy on Twitch on Tuesdays, that means it is today. I'm gonna be playing my third episode today. If you wanna watch the first or second episode, I also have it on YouTube. And if you wanna see my first bit build with a little bit of an explanation on who this family is, then you can go to the other video. I'm gonna link everything below and everything on the top corner, so keep your attention. And what you're seeing here is you might this is not a speed build, but it is. I recently styled a mod that I really love. It is called Create a World Tool by uh, Arnie the Sims Plus. I love this mod. I am completely, completely in love with this mod and with, of course, uh, the Take Object of Lot tool mod. And I want to use it. So I downloaded that mod and I have, as you can see, a completely empty world and you you know if you don't know on the sims 3 we used to have a world tool and it was my favorite thing to do through all this time i've been creating worlds like crazy i love creating worlds i think that i have created more worlds for the sims 3 than actually i play the sims 3 mostly because i couldn't play the sims 3 of course because i had a lot of lag and a lot of issues with it but yeah, creating worlds is one thing that I love, 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 really, really love. And because we don't have an official tool for it, I was extremely, extremely excited and happy when I found out about this mod. I haven't been able to play with it yet, but I'm going to take advantage of all of this and uh, start using it. As you can see, I am editing the world that comes with New Crest, this secondary neighborhood. In New Crest. I call it secondary because not you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to have empty neighborhoods, uh, but you, you have them now. Ta-da! I'm gonna link the mod and the mods that I'm using in the description as well. So yeah, this is a speed build, but not of a single lot. It is a speed build of a completely new neighborhood that I'm gonna be creating through the series. And I love it. I love it. The only thing that I think it is a bit annoying. My dog is barking outside. Yeah, that's annoying as well, but I was not talking about that. Oh gosh. One thing that is a little bit annoying about this, mo this mod, and it's not about the mod, you know? The mod is making amazing things possible that are not really possible in the vanilla game. So what I find a little bit annoying is that when you want to add objects to the world, you have to go through this list of objects and it navigation is not exactly comfortable. I really need to emphasize in that. But at the same time, it is amazing that we're getting this, this things possible. 
we're finally getting these things on the game thanks to amazing creators that I am very very much grateful for. <laughs> so even if it is a little bit annoying to find to have to find the things through a menu, I we can we finally get to do this. So, you, so yeah, I am encourage you. I am encouraging encourage. Oh god, I am encouraging you all to go get them out and try this for yourself because it is extremely fun. And if you like if you like customizing, if you miss the Sims 3 Creator World 2 them, you should totally try this. And so as you can see, I am struggling a little bit to find things. And while I am struggling with that, I'm gonna tell you a bit of what my how my mod's going. So I was supposed to release an update yesterday. I had an update scheduled for Monday, but I couldn't I couldn't make that happen. I I've I worked really really hard, but things are, were just taking a lot longer than I expected. And finally I decided to reschedule to delay the update because I need to test and make sure that everything's working fine. I do not want to put out something that I know is buggy and I don't want to be EA. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't want to be EA. I want to have time to test everything. So I'm gonna need to plan my schedules better later. And yeah, that's what I am saying. Ooh, now we got to an interesting part. I'm gonna have to cut myself a little bit. We're going back to the Better Sims update later. So stick around if you want to know more about that. But I figured out that if I have a lot where I can build things, I can get things from the from the ca catalog, then I should just place everything the way I want them to be placed in an easy way inside the lot. And then I select everything with the tool mod and I move it where I want to have it. So what I wanted to do here is to... You see that dirt patch that is right near that road? I wanted to add kind of an entrance to it. So I want it to be kind of a road for Sims to walk in, maybe use their bicycles because I I have some other transportation methods that, as well and I, I want them to be able to explore. And these tiny details are going to be something that will make me want to explore more. So I decided to build this really interesting entrance with a lot of bushes. I don't think it is my best work yet but you get the idea you get what you can do i added some um some wood as sitting areas some bushes i looked at it i made sure that it is in the shape that i wanted to be and then i started selecting everything with the tool mod uh, i missed some things but it's okay and then i put it on place i deselected and ta -da! this is how you get things outside of the lot but placed the way you like. This is how I figured it would be a better way to move things around. So I started doing that as well because I thought that there was an area that was a little bit empty. I wanted to add more bushes. I think I still need to explore more the catalog and see what I can find because there's a lot of things out there. There are tons and tons of things that you can use and I need to explore all my possibilities because I want to create world uh, with my mob legacy. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be playing it uh, a long time. I plan to do that. I really want to be playing with this legacy for a long time. So I want to do it right, and that's why I decided that having this long-term goal was not such a bad idea. And also, I chose the worst weather to build in. It was at night, everything was cloudy, a little bit rainy. That's why at the beginning I was trying my uh, I was trying to get my sim to to change the weather, but it just never happens to me. If you ever get your sims to change the weather, please tell me how. I I still can't do it. I can't make it. Uh so yeah. Weather is a little bit annoying when you want to build good things. But I didn't want to just make some time pass by because I am playing a legacy, right? I shouldn't be playing outside of the gameplay. I didn't want to do that. And you see, this little hidden area that I created is for a pea bush. I'm gonna call, call it a pea bush 
because I don't want to call it a woohoo bush, bush but you, you get the idea. I wanted to make this little hidden area where you have the bushes and I think that with a little bit of, of more effort, I'm going to be able to make great things like this, that park over there. I think that's what it is meant for. So I build the things inside of the of the lot. So I select everything and then I take it to the place where I want it to be. And because I wanted to test that, uh, I am placing things correctly. I sent my I sent my thing to test it, and then I decided to start playing with roads. One of the really amazing things about roads is well about this mod is that you can add roads now. I am beyond excited about this because I uh, I just I just miss the Sims 3 create a world too. Miss it a lot. So I wanted to create first a uh, kind of a map where the roads would be, but as you can see, the w the roads are objects. They are literally objects. And I tried to make everything fit and look great. In some places, there are some things that are buggy. I rotated some roads, so they are... They do not adapt to the terrain all they don't don't always adapt to the terrain and sometimes there are a little bit of bugs and things that don't look right and you have to fix them. I use the, the tool mod for that and I made I I made my best work, I have to say. I did the best I could do. And now that I am just building and I already explained what I was doing, I'm gonna keep talking about the better sims mod. What I was working in this week was an aspirations overhaul. So you see, the way aspirations used to work was that you had a certain aspirations for each uh, career, for each career branch. So most of the times, you you with my mod, you would get two aspirations for every career. But with this rework, I made it so you would only get one aspirations per each career because. You know, you see, you probably think this is, oh uh, yeah, so you made, so you, so you made it that, so we get less content. No, 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 listen to me, I have my reasons for this. So, yeah, it may seem that you're getting less, but keep in mind that we have uh, tons and tons of DLCs, and I'm gonna be adding modules for every DLC, so if we get uh, an aspirations for each career, for each module, you're gonna get your your catalog clogged up like crazy you're gonna get so many aspirations and most of them are gonna feel repeated that's where you get so many things that nothing nothing uh, feels meaningful anymore nothing feels like it's making a difference and i was afraid that that was going to happen with my mod so i decided to remove some of the things in order to add better things ah? <laughs> there's the word there's the catch and one of the other reasons why I decided to remove that is to add more life choices. So now, instead of your, just having your aspirations life choices, I added career life choice. In a way that your sim, every time they have to decide which career branch they want to take, they are going to get a life choice. That is... That is something that's gonna work not just for your desired aspirations, but it's also gonna work with every career. So depending on your, on your traits, your sim is gonna get um, a life choice. They're going to just decide what they want to do. And if your sim doesn't have any, if your sim just they don't like their career, they're probably not going to decide anything, and they're most likely wanna ask you to get a different job for them. And I think that's gonna be more interesting because when you already have an aspiration, it's just like you have your goals set in stone and you don't have any changes, you don't have to discover anything else, you just have your milestones there and you have to follow them. Instead of that, I wanted life choices to be a bit of uh, a bit different and feel different. And that's why I made that change. I hope I explained myself well. I try to explain this to my patrons, my dear lovely patrons uh, <laughs> who I'm going to be thanking so much today. Thanks to all the people that who are supporting me 
on Patreon I am able to keep going with this dream of mine of making content that a lot of people enjoy and making things that I myself enjoy. Working hard, learning a lot. I am extremely grateful for all of you guys and yeah, that's what I am saying. So I hope you enjoy all the changes. I made sure before I left my my building part of this of this neighborhood because I already spent a lot of time building a lot of things. I decided to test the roads to see if my sim could walk over them and it works. Oh, I am so relieved. <laughs> yeah. And now I am trying to get a nice view of everything but I can't because the weather is poop. So if you want to have a better look of all of it, then I suggest you join me on Twitch where I'll be streaming my mod legacy. We could go visit those places. Really interesting, right? <laughs> I am so happy, so happy because I have been installing more mods to my gameplay. Two other mods that I have and that I installed that are amazing from Steam Realist are the private private practice mod and I decided to place the lot from the pi private practice oh my god sometimes my tongue gets twisted, twisted <laughs> no matter what I do <laughs> I hope you I hope you bear with me a little bit yeah as you can see I have the private practice mod I love it I placed a lot I made sure that the that the lot type is correct before I exit and save and I also have the SMB bank mod and I added the financial center to it because I'm gonna be using that as well. I want to give my sims some loans because they're gonna need it. My sims are gonna be struggling a bit. These sims on this gameplay don't have a ton of issues financially, but when they start leaving their homes, they're gonna be in a bit of trouble because I decided to make a really big house for them. Well, yeah, this is an, the amazing bank that we have for my sims. I wanted to fix everything in the neighborhood so my sims could get more interactions because more, more interactions outside of their house you know I want to get them to community lots and you is it's a little bit empty and I also have some location rules where I don't travel when I don't take my sims wherever they want to go at any time I don't usually go to festivals unless my sim is on a region that it makes sense for them to go to the festivals if you have Solani, then you probably, <laughs> then you, and if you are also a realistic player, you probably uh, think it is not. It doesn't make a lot of sense that sims can go to Solani whenever they want, and they don't don't have to pay for a residential lot or anything. They, why go to a resident? Why go to a rental lot? Why use a rental lot? Why even have a rental lot if you? If your sims can travel wherever they want at any time. That makes no sense to me. So I have some rules set in place for that. And after this, I'm not going to say home. It is a neighborhood makeover where I added some lots. I I customized a little bit my world. It's going to gonna take some other dreams. Well, not dreams, but it's going to take some time to finally complete that. But I'm going to have a lot of time with my legacy. So... We are saying goodbye to my dearest things now. If you see, if you saw my other videos, you probably see how different they are. Last episode, we gave them a makeover based on their personalities, and they look extremely different. Amelia used to be a brunette, now she's a blonde, and she is a rocker, and she's turned out to be a polyamorous, and she is, she has a crush on Seth. So there's a lot, of, a little bit of drama here that I want to explore with you on the next episode. If you wanna keep watching, if you wanna know more about my better sims mod, don't hesitate to go to my social media below. I am not very active on Instagram, or yeah, I'm not very active on Instagram. I'm still, I dedicate a lot of my time to mod and testing. So if you wanna connect with me and maybe participate on this process go to Twitch or to my Discord. You can also follow me on Instagram if, <laughs> if you want to see what I do next. Because right now I am not very active, but I have some plans for it as well. Thank you all for watching. Again, thank you to, for, to my patrons for helping me 
improve this, helping me basically fulfill my dreams and follow my dreams. And I guess I'll see you on the next episode, the next video, the next update or on Twitch. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Bye. Kisses, kisses, kisses.